What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a red hot KDP low content colouring book niche. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said I'm going to be sharing a red hot niche within this video that you may want to check out. This video is actually part of a playlist of red hot KDP niches and if you want to check out that playlist I'll link it right there in the right hand corner. Now let's just go straight over to Amazon and let me share with you this niche. Now if you watched the other day's video I'll link that as well because it's a really great video on how to find niches and how to find profitable niches at that so go ahead go through and watch it but within that video I shared this niche baby coloring book one year now with this obviously you could put one year old so if we do that baby coloring book one year old baby coloring book one year girl you can go through through these and take a look but the most profitable keyword was this baby coloring book one a year so this has a niche score of 65 percent there's only 801 results when i did the other video there was 800 results but we can see that average bsr is around 87,000, which is really really good and that average reviews is a little bit high but if we take a look at the first page we can see the reviews are high that has 11,000 reviews 500 3,000 but if we take a little look a little bit lower because i think they were sponsored anyway so let's scroll down the page because if we go to here we can see fairly new book only 19 reviews so this tells me that you could potentially get onto the first page so this looks like a really really great niche if we look at that one on the first page 44 reviews so you could definitely get on the first page for this that's baby coloring book for a one-year-old now how would you actually go around and create this book well it's pretty simple i'd use creative fabrica we're going to go over there in just a second but one thing i want to be quick is that if you're going to create coloring books then your designs have to be on point because your books have to look really professional so if we look through this first page we can see they look really really good hence that's why they're on the first page but there's so many people right now creating coloring books that really shouldn't create coloring books because they don't have the skills to actually create a book now if we look at this this is nine dollars 99 this looks okay but it, again it doesn't really look like a coloring book if you look at all these other coloring books they look professional they look cool they actually look like a coloring book like this this looks really great it's really nicely designed so if you're wanting to create coloring books practice your covers before you actually start publishing the book now like i said how would i actually create this book well for a baby coloring book for one-year-olds two-year-olds three-year-olds for toddlers and things like that these books are really really simple because most of the time they only have one or two images within inside the book on each page now let's go over to creative fabrica now what i've done here is just typed in toddler so toddler coloring pages and then i clicked enter and we got so many cool designs that we could use inside our books now let's just give that a second to load up now what i'll do i'll link this page down below so you can go through and check it out if you want to disclaimer it is an affiliate link so if you do decide to purchase anything i will make a small commission now if we take a look through these we can see there's some really really great um illustrations like here unicorns so these look really really great again what i personally would do i wouldn't use these designs as is i'd use them in combination with other designs to create a unique design on each coloring page that makes sense because too many people just take these images these illustrations whack them in a book on a book 
and that's completely the wrong way to go about it. You've got to learn to actually create unique designs from these illustrations or from these graphics. Now, one thing that is standing out to me is this scissor skills. That's a really, really great niche as well. I do suggest going through and checking that out. But from here, we can see really, really nice designs that we can use. So come through and check it out and see what you think, like this one. So Kids Flying Bear Coloring Book. A little bit too detailed, probably, for a toddler or a kid's, a little kid's coloring book. So let's take a little look at that. One top tip that I will give you as well, when you find a designer that you actually like, come through to their shop and take a look to see what they got. So from here, I can see that these designer doesn't own the rights to these images. I've seen these before. That's actually quite good that we've come across this. This is on a free site. Um, this is on a free site. So stay well clear of this designer because it looks like they're just taking free clip art and trying to sell it here on um, Creative Fabrica. And that is a no-no. So remember, always do your own due diligence into the graphics because more than likely some of these people don't actually have the rights to sell it. You can easily figure out who and who doesn't because if we go back, you can easily see designers that have actually designed their books but i'll stay away from that designer one designer that i do really like is pretty graphic this designer just here they have such cool illustrations and they give you the svg and the eps file meaning any of these graphics here we can turn black and white just by using a free software called gravit designer we can take these graphics, turn them black and white, and then use them in our books. And this illustrator, this designer, has some really, really great images, as we can see from here. So come through and check out this shop as well. Now, if we go back, like I said, all I did was typed in toddler coloring pages. We can type in other keywords, just coloring pages coloring pages for kids. We can sort by most relevant or newest first. So sometimes I like to do newest first just to see the new designs on the website so I can use them before other people do. And from here, this is all to do with scissor skills. So again, go ahead and go and check out that niche. But from here, we can find some really, really great stuff. Looks like it's all scissor skills on the first page but nonetheless, some really, really great graphics and more unicorns just here. So come through, check that out. Come through and check out Baby Coloring Book One Year. You can check out One Year Old and just check out all the other keywords as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.